What's going on my fellow miners? It's Chaos Mining here back at another video about getting 35 mega hashes on a RX 580 Sapphire card. Uh, it does have micron memory. Right now uh, we are sitting at 29.98 mega hashes on Claymore uh, mining some Ethereum. So let's go ahead and get started with it. So right now these are my actual um, overclocks or undervolts however you want to call it. Um, I got 1100 on the core clock, I got 4 on the core state, 825 on the core voltage, and 2000 on the memory clock, and 1 index on the memory state. Fan is at 50%. Um, I do have aggressive undervolting on, and I do not have the refresh rate clicked on this one yet. But I'm going to walk you through it on the next one to see if we can get you 35 mega hashes. Okay, so first let me go ahead and pull up my template that I have here. And here it is right here. We're going to go ahead and apply it to my actual rig and it's going to update. But what I want you to look at is the settings that I have here. So right now I have a core clock of 1300, core state, core state at 3, my core, core voltage is at 940 and my memory clock is at 2320. And I up up my fan to 60%. I do not have aggressive undervolting set on this one, but on the refresh rate, I have it at 120. So these are the settings you're going to want to want to have if you want 35 mega hashes. Now, if we go back to shell in a box, this is it actually an RX 580 running at 35.147 mega hashes per 142. It's fluctuating it just a little bit, but we got 35 mega hashes now there's always a downside and the downside on that is that it is actually taking in more power so right now uh, you'll see it on the screen but before well the system right now the miner sits at 30 watts idle that's no cards hooked up that's just it on um, when I plug in the RX 580 the idle wattage goes to 44 watts and then with the regular um, undervolts and overclocks that I had on it uh, the total wattage pull was 140 watts total uh, and if we subtract the 30 we're looking at 110 watts just from the GPU and that is running at 29 mega hashes now the wattage for the 35.6 we have a total power usage of a 192 watts and a GPU load of 162 watts now depending on how many of these RX 580s you got um, say you got 10 and if you're adding five more or six more mega hashes then you're looking at 60 mega hashes total increase but if we're looking at power usage that's 520 watts extra just to do those 60 watts to me I don't think that's very actual <laughs> um, how to put it energy efficient I think it I mean you're looking at 520 watts extra you could probably just pop in either uh, two more RX 580s and you're going to be using probably only 200 watts off of that so it is achievable to get to 35 watts, I mean 35 mega hashes, I'm sorry, on an RX 580 Sapphire with micron memory. But as far as power efficient, I don't think it's a good idea. But if you got free power and you're just wanting to hash away and you really don't care about your energy usage, then go for it. I mean, you'll get an extra two cards worth out of your all of your rigs. Um, but always think again, you are actually using more power. So uh, it's a quick video. I hope you like it. Um, hopefully it's not too long. Again, from my last video, um, I do want to do some giveaways. So if you don't mind extra usage, comment below. Or if you got better um, results than mine, comment below. But include your Ethereum address. And on the next video, if we get enough, I'll throw in either, probably we'll throw in some Ethereum Classic. Um, we'll start off slow and then go up higher as we get more followers. Anyways, again, y'all have a great weekend and happy mining.